Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul and this is Buster's Boy Camping and this is my final camping trip of 2021. I can't believe it is December and it's another year gone. Wow, where does the time go? It's been an incredible year. This year I've spent the Lake District in May for my birthday. I went along with my dog Buster. We used the Keshwa 4.1 Fresh and Black from Decathlon. A fantastic tent for the occasion, plenty of room in there for Buster and myself. We stayed at the Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site and explored the Lake District from there. Had a fantastic time. A month later, I was back there again, although in a caravan that time, at the Park Dean White Cross Bay Resort on Windermere. Uh, I was there with my parents that time, and the reason why it was on a caravan was because my dad was having his 80th birthday and he said he was a little bit too old for the old camping lark. And yeah, I can understand that. So we had a little bit of a family holiday there. No tents allowed on that one, unfortunately. But yeah, understandable in the circumstances. Then of course, all the kids were off on their summer holiday. Everything got a little bit busy. So I took a little bit of a break. September soon came around and I was heading off to Lake District, although this time on my own. And at first I went to the Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site and used the Keshwa Two Seconds Easy Tent for the one night before moving off to the Keswick Camping and Caravanning Club site and using the Keshwa 3XL tent, which is now sadly discontinued. I had a fantastic trip. I explored further, I, I walked further, I walked all the way around Derwent Water and had a fantastic time. And then about six weeks after that, I was at the Chipping Norton Camping and Caravanning Club site and that's more famous for being neighbours with a certain diddly squat farm shop, which is also known as Clarkson's Farm Shop. It's, yeah. Uh, that was a great weekend it was um i need I, I knew i needed to get another camping trip done before a lot of the campsites were closing down and then when i got home i found out actually there's still a couple of sites still open during the winter break and one just happened to be close by so i booked one and that was a couple of weeks ago so if you the background looks familiar to you for those of you who are familiar with the channel i was actually on this very pitch a couple of weeks ago on the 4th of december and yeah, I use the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 and I'll be using that tent again for this trip. This is just a one night stay like before. Thankfully, the weather's a little bit better. It was blowing a gale last time. There was rain and yeah, it wasn't very pleasant. Thankfully, now we've got a little bit of fog. It's a little bit chilly, hence the down jacket. But you know, I like it. It's um, really good. And it's the last camping trip of the year for me. There'll be plenty more to come in 2022. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy this one. So yeah, come along and join me. Well, as you can see, the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is now up. It's a very, very simple tent to put up. It uses three poles that cross over, and then you've got the ventilation at the top, which is then covered by this hood, and is held on by bungee cords. Now, the only thing I've done that's different from the manufacturers is the bungee cords that hold on the hood. If they go straight to, it, there's a little bit of play, a little bit of flap, and if there's a wind that picks up, you hear about it. So I've wrapped that around to add a little bit more tension onto the hood and I've done exactly the same with the guide ropes. Rather than the guide ropes pulling straight from the seams on the tent, I've then wrapped the guide rope around the pole and then more tension is on the pole than on the seam because the last thing we want is a split tent in the middle of the night. I don't think we're gonna get high winds. I've just put them in as a precaution because you never know. It is the 17th of December. It's a little bit on the chilly side. So I've now gone on to putting the bedding in. Onto the sleep system, I'm using this, which is a Trekology UL140. I've used this plenty of times and had fantastic night sleeps on here. Really, really comfortable. It's, it's very thick, very wide, and yeah, it's great in that respect. There are a couple of bad points with it though. 
and that is the first one we don't know what its r value is so we don't know how much heat is going to be lost through this pad and into the ground that's why i'm using this format that you can see here this was what 12 pound 99 um and you can get them on online retailers or in camping shops um so yeah i don't know what the r value is of this so it may be a little bit cold probably more suitable for maybe spring summer but not necessarily autumn winter the other downside with this is the fact that it has a pump at the bottom which is like a sponge device which sits where your feet are and you use you can use that to pump the bed up although it's not necessary because you can use a pump sack or electronic pump and it's got a a bit of a problem in that respect because when you're trying to get it back into its sack you want every ounce of air out of the pad before you get it into it, its stuff sack and the trouble is it's a spongy device and it's very hard trying to get that last ounce of air out to get it in here that's why this, this stuff sack is so tight also as well it's got a built-in pillow which i just think is a little bit unnecessary nice touch nice idea nice try but unfortunately not really for me but on the plus side it is super super comfortable so if they brought a version of this out without the pump and without the pillow i would be super happy same width same thickness but yeah um other than that i say i love it so let's get this out and let's get it inflated now you can use your breath you can use the included pump that i've just been talking about with it and i don't tend to use either now the reason why i don't use my breath is because you've got lungs that are full of moisture and maybe there's some little microbes in there little organisms and the last thing you want is some mold growing inside your pad so i think it's better to use a external device now you can get a pump sack which is like a bag that you fill and is like a nozzle and attaches to your pad and that works great i use an x-ped one for this one um, but just recently there's been another product that's come onto the market and that is this it is a flex tail gear and this is almost genius it is a pump electronic pump and it is there's a little button underneath wow and it will blow this up within a couple of minutes the negative side with this is it comes with these little attachments and they only just sit on only just so you've got to hold this on to your pad as it's inflating so i'll show you how easy it is unravel that make sure you get the right attachment which i haven't it comes with several attachments as i say it only just you probably can't see that but it only just fits on there and then There we go, hide that on and away we go. It's very noisy as well, so here we go. And it's already fallen off. Yeah, it's already fallen off. That's the only negative side, but as I say, it just takes a lot of the hard work out. There we go. We'll go again. Aha, pump come off again. Again, the pump come off. And again. Just needs about three or four more millimeters to be perfect, and that's 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 up. Okay, so that is now up. The only thing is, I've just realised the airbed's in the wrong way around because 
my zipper on my sleeping bag is the other way around. There we go. Okay, so now it's sleeping bag time and I'm using the Van Gogh Nightstar 375 Alpha, which you have probably seen on this channel before if you are a regular viewer. Uh, this is probably one of the most comfortable sleeping bags I've had so far. Now, I have moaned and whinged about the fact that I find sleeping bags a little bit constrictive, that I'm wide chested and that these 80 centimeter sleeping bags aren't really wide enough and not very comfortable. And I still stand by that. And this one is a little bit wider, 83 centimeters, which I know doesn't sound a lot, but every, every centimeter sort of counts. Um, I won't just be using this though. I have got a down Zafferback black 400 quilt to go over the top because as I say, I am expecting it to be a rather chilly night. Now, as you can see, the reason why I put it this way around and had to move the, the sleeping pad around is because the zipper is on this side. So obviously I'll be entering from your end over there and make sure I've got plenty of room. That goes up there like so. As I say, this is a kind of wild camp test. So I'm trying to keep gear down to a minimum as much as possible, but it is December, it is gonna be cold. So you'll have to bear with me while I cheat a little bit. Now, this is my Zafferback Black 400, Zafferback Black 400 down quilt that just goes over the top and it's it, it keeps things a little bit more more warmer I wouldn't say it's night and day but it certainly does help and that's all I can ask for at the moment let that let that put, put back into life so as I say yes I am cheating a little bit I've got a open sleeping bag here and that's just to make sure that I am definitely toasty warm during the night. I, uh, I'm i not doing a full on wild camp. I am at a campsite and I do need to keep warm. It is the middle of December after all, and, but that's all the bedding I will be using for tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be plenty warm and plenty cozy, I think. So that's the tent all set up and the bedding installed. All that's left for me to do now is to get all the odds and sods out of the car, like the, the Jetball Minimo stove, so I can have a bite to eat tonight. I've got some Wayfair sausage and beans. I've also got some coffees to have in the morning. So I'm gonna get all those little items out of the car and get all set up for tonight. So I'll catch you in a little while. Sorry about the steam, folks. I'm uh, about ready to cook dinner. <laughs> hey, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, starting now. Well, good evening, folks. Sorry about the steam, but it is pretty cold out here um, I'm basically boiling hello <laughs> it's my cauldron it's actually Halloween uh, no hence the Santa hat um, yeah I'm booking I'm booking I'm cooking one of those wayfarer meals basically you put it in boiling water for 10 minutes uh, take it out or leave it to dry leave it to cool down should I say for a few minutes because it's the bags really really hot and yeah, it's uh, 
ready to eat and it's absolutely delicious. This is beans and sausages. Sausages, I've had this plenty of times before, absolutely love it. Add a little bit of ketchup though. I wish there was a little, sash I could buy sachets of ketchup, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this. This is, this is great. Um, the Santa hat, well, you know what? It's Christmas next week uh, and this is the last camp of the year, so why not? Let's have a bit of a celebration. So I'm going to sit and watch this, <laughs> this boil away. <laughs> Steam is just crazy, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sit and watch this, this boil away and um, then tuck in. I really can't wait. Oh, the chair. I'm using a, a Yeezy Go Trekology chair. I know it's sort of like a wild camp test sort of thing, but uh, it's just a couple of little luxuries. It's not quite the full wild camping. I've got to see if this is, if my, all my water's boiled away. I've got to add some more water, I think. All right, it should be cooled down enough now. Yeah, it's a little bit hot, so you've got to be careful. We can take them out, but otherwise, okay. Oh, I'm so hungry. Ooh, spilling everywhere. Mm. Oh, delicious. Pass me over the top. I've got to add a little ketchup though. I do. For those of you like thinking, oh, really? Yeah, really. I have to add a little bit of ketchup. <coughs> Not much, just a little bit of ketchup. I know. It's got tomato sauce. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> I've not had anything to drink, honest. Well, nothing alcoholic, anyway. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. Mm. Wayfarer. Beans and sausages. Oh. I'm gonna get this everywhere now. The sausages are only tiny, but. Oh wow, wow. Mmm. There's definitely a pork element there. And the beans are absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's mid-December, I'm in a dark field wearing a silly Santa hat. Uh, I've got all these lights looking at me. There's one down here, and there's one on top of the camera. And I'm just having a little bit of thinking time, time to myself. See, a lot of my friends, Daryl and a few other people, James, wow, you're crazy, you know, going camping in mid-December and it's going to be really cold and hope you wrap, wrap up warm. And... But it got me thinking about this and yeah, camping in December is probably not what's on most people's wish list. But do you know what? Three or four years ago, where did I go on holiday? I, I, I don't really remember. Um, seven, eight years ago, do I remember where I went on holiday? I think it could have been somewhere down south, I don't know. But in 2006, which is what, 15 years ago, I got on a plane and went to Malaga, which is in southern Spain, and stayed for a night at a hotel, all on my own, and then flew back the next day. And I always remember that, because it was out of my comfort zone, it was something different, it was not the normal thing I do. And, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe sometimes we play it too safe sometimes, maybe I play it safe sometimes, but, uh, I'm enjoying this, it's good fun, good fun. I'm having a little bit of a break from the world. All those lights in the world, they're a long way away. I'm just having that all important me time and I think we need that from time to time. Hopefully my ankle gets better and my Achilles tendinopathy gets better and I'll be able to go on wild camps. That's definitely something I wanna do. Um, but at the moment, I've been told six to nine months, which, yeah, when I was told that, not good, but that's another story, that's another story for another time. Anyway, I'm gonna get tidied up because uh, I've got my Wayfarer bag, which is now cooled down. 
and I've got my jet board mini mo down here which I need to sort out uh, I'm waiting for a phone call from my friend to say come on over and yeah I shall uh, see you in a bit I'm gonna get tidied up so see you soon Well, it's just gone, uh, what, five to seven at night. I've come inside the Nature Height Cloud Peak 2. It's a fantastic little tent. I've got to admit, I'm very, very impressed with it. It's only the second time I've ever used it. And yeah, it's been a long day for me. I was up at two o'clock this morning for work. As I say, it's just gone five to seven. I'm getting really, really tired. So I'm not gonna go and see my friend tonight. Um, it's getting a bit late for me, to be honest with you. And, uh, Ooh, I've just had a fantastic idea. Uh, oh, the idea, it was to drink that. Cheers everyone and Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's not wild camping, but it's a little bit of a luxury, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, definitely not going out driving now. Uh, not going anywhere now. Certainly don't believe in drinking and driving. So, um, yeah, um, as I say, in this tent, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, this Trekology UR 140 is quite a wide pad, as I said earlier. But if you use the slimmer one, uh, if I can go a little bit wider... Then, as you can see, there's still, I mean, that's where the, this pad ends. And there's plenty of room all the way up to there. So you could definitely get another person in here. The camera that where you are is actually in the vestibule. And the vestibules are huge. They are, they are ample. And uh, yeah, as I say, there's not a lot I can pick fault with it. I'm not gonna give a review on this tent until next year. I've decided the fact that I can't do a review based on first experiences and, and that that just doesn't work you need to have a bit of time with the product so uh but at the moment yeah it's it's it's, it's very 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 impressive but again the review will follow next year so keep an eye out for that right um things for me tonight i've got my little hood because obviously as you can see i am follically challenged not a lot going on up here so I've got a little hood to go over that and protect that because it's going to be chilly tonight, very cold. The um, the Santa Claus hat doesn't quite fit the bill. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to veg out. I've got some snacks to get me through tonight. And I shall see you in the morning. And uh, yeah, I'm having a really, really good time. Oh, oh. Happy New Year, everybody. No night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm still in bed. Toasty, toasty warm. Had a really... Well, it's a night of two halves, put it that way. Um, first part, toasty warm, feeling great. About three o'clock in the morning, needed a wee. Went out, down down to the bottom, had, had a wee. About three o'clock in the morning, came back and got back into bed. Got everything sealed up and then I was like, okay, now's the time to start some sleep. Yep, any time now, sleep. Any time now. And I think one of my earplugs fell out. And a plane flew over from East Midlands Airport. And I was like, okay, yeah, now that's gone. Time to get some sleep. And it just seemed to go on for a little while. But I think I did nod off a few times. So I don't think it was like a a pure uh, unrestful night. Uh, yeah, it certainly wasn't ideal. But, you know, you, you just got to make the best in that situation. 
but the Trekology UL 140 that's been really really comfortable really really fine I've not felt any cold coming through it if I'm honest although I do think the format underneath has helped in that respect um, I'm using a high gear sleeping bag liner which is what you can see here uh, that's inside my Vango Nightstar 375 Alpha sleeping bag which you know been fine and then I've got my Zaffa Black, Black 400 down quilt which is what you can see here and the the old sleeping bag I've actually threw off and threw it down the bottom of the bed because I just didn't feel like there was any need for it so yeah I've had a, a, a toasty warm comfortable night's sleep I'm still wearing all the clothes I was wearing from yesterday um, as I say I don't think it's been freezing I think it's been probably maybe three maybe four four degrees centigrade I've not got any way to check it, but there's no breath coming. You can't see any breath coming out of my mouth. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't think it's icy at all. So, yeah, all good. So um, now I've got to think about um, getting everything packed up or, or at least get some of it packed away, make a bit more room in here, and then uh, have a cup of coffee. Uh, so I'll speak to you in a bit once I've got some of this some of all this stuff cleared away. <laughs> ah, been a good year. A lovely cappuccino to start the day. Oh wow. <laughs> that hits me with like caffeine. Boom! <laughs> Just what I needed. Wow. That's got a nice hit. I like that. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best night sleeps. Three o'clock in the morning, waking up and trying to get back to sleep, but it's just one of them things. But I've really, really enjoyed the last night here. It's been fantastic and an excellent way for me to end this year, which started in May when I went to the Lake District, stayed at the Windermere Camping and Caravanning Club site, then returned again in September, staying at Windermere for one night, and then going off to Keswick for three nights. Then I went to the Chipping Norton Camping and Caravanning Club site, and then that was for two nights. And that I thought was the last trip of the year. Little did I know the fact that as soon as I got back, there'd still be a few campsites open, including this one, which I'm forever grateful for, for the uh, Conkers Camping and Caravanning Club site. Uh, I came here on the 4th of December, tried out the Nature Height Cloud Peak 2 for the very first time and that wasn't enough for me. I, I thought I need to get another one in before Christmas and a week today will be Christmas Day. It is Saturday the 18th of December and here I am again with the Nature Height Cloud Peak 2 and it's been brilliant. One little, little, little fault I have found with it though is the fact that when the condensation or rain it does actually drop into, into the tent itself but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but other than that, it's a great little tent. I, I, I'm very, very impressed with it and I'll certainly be using it again. And talking about using it again, because this year has been brilliant, but this year started in May and next year, 2022, is going to start a little bit earlier. So you can expect to see videos starting from January. Yes, next month I will be back here, possibly with the Nature High Cloud Peak 2. It may be another tent. But if you want to find that out, please subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified of any future video releases. Because next year I'm gonna be going all out. I wanna try new tents, I wanna try new gear, reviewing new gear, and I will be reviewing this Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 as well, so stay tuned for that. I've also got extra updates on our Facebook page, which is again, Buster's Boy Camping, so you can find us on there. I have been posting pictures on there today and last night, 
of of this trip and yeah i am i am really really happy this is the best christmas present i could have given myself it's yeah really happy i love my camping i've had a little bit of time away from the world the hustle and bustle and i feel fantastic so all it remains me to do now is have my breakfast which should be now cool because i don't want to have hot hands like i had last night learnt my lesson there and then i'm going to pack away the tent but i'm not going to put it in its stuff sack because it has got condensation on the outside it is spitting a rain as i speak right now that doesn't seem much point put it into a stuff sack and then getting that wet i want to keep the stuff sack dry as much as possible for when i put it away for the, uh, the month i was going to say winter but it's a month um, so I'm going to put that into a bin liner and then hopefully it's not spitting the rain when I get home and then hang it up on the, on the washing line and just let it dry off for a, a while. So yeah, I'm going to eat my breakfast and I shall see you again later. Okay, just going around, making sure I left no trace, no pegs left lying around. In case somebody does actually pitch up after me and there's no pegs protruding in the ground, last thing you want to do is damage somebody else's tent. And also as well, it's good practice for wild camping as well. Uh, yeah, my tent's all wrapped up and so is my camping adventures for 2021. Thank you very much for your company. If you're subscribed to my channel, if you're not, please consider it. I've got plenty more adventures set for 2022 and beyond. So yeah, there we go. If you're celebrating Christmas, have a very Merry Christmas, have a happy new year, and I'll see you next year. Bye bye for now.